Uh, pleased to welcome now uh, Bob and Margaret, as I'd mentioned. Uh, Bob Gow and uh, also Margaret is, is here as well. Margaret Vince, uh, welcome. Uh, very proud and passionate about Besswood and uh, Besswood Park, the village. Margaret, we'll, we'll start with you. Um, what is it that uh, means so much about uh, Besswood? Why, why are you fanatical and passionate about it? Well, it's the, um, it's the country park. Now, I don't live in Besswood Village. I live not far away in Arnold. But my connection with the um, country park goes back to 1999 when some friends and I got together and decided to organise a camp in the country park. We made contact with the rangers and over the years they've helped us a lot organising um, picnics, camps uh, and similar activities in the country park. And when we heard that the Friends of Bestwood Country Park had been formed to um, support the rangers uh, in their struggle to retain their jobs, uh, we decided we'd like to support that as well. And that's how I became involved with Friends of Bestwood Country Park. And you're all volunteers, I understand. All volunteers. How do you, do you raise the funds to, to support this? Well, since 2012, um, we've been uh, slowly but surely raising money by running a volunteers cafe uh, every Saturday morning throughout the year, including Boxing Day last month, last year. And um, we also open up on Sunday afternoons in June, July and August. We uh, initially started off with a kettle, uh, some tea bags and a jar of coffee and this was in response to a request from walkers in the park um, who were asking, well, what, where's the nearest cafe? Well, there isn't one. We'll do it on a voluntary basis. Then the WI came along and said, hmm, would you mind if we baked some cakes for you? And we said we'd be absolutely delighted. And uh, so are all our customers because everything in the cafe is super cheap. Hot drinks, 50p, piece of cake, 50p. So when you've had a walk in the park, it's uh, an excellent place to come. And then the cafe is situated in the park itself? Yes, uh, right on the edge. It's sit situated in um, in what's called the Dynamo House, which was the old substation next to the, um, next to the colliery, next to the winding engine house, which Bob can tell you more about. We'll, we'll certainly discuss the heritage of Besswood, and uh, that's indeed what's prompted this timeline, which uh, I referred to as well. Bob, what's, what's your story with Besswood? Is that, is that where you come from? Yes, I was born in Besswood and lived there for the first 20 years of my life. Went to the village school and participated in the village activities. And then when I was 17, I went to work at Bestwood Colliery as an apprentice. I remained there until the pit closed in the late 60s and then went to other collieries locally in Nottinghamshire before returning to Bestwood in 1995 when the council realised that they had a problem with the heritage listing of the old winding engine building, which was still standing with the engine inside it. Um, encouraged by this, I got some volunteers together and we set about restoring the engine. This took us about five years to get it back into a reasonable condition. And then again, with the support of the County Council, we were able to get a lottery grant in 2008, 2009 for a million pounds from Heritage Lottery. And they helped us to put the icing on the cake by installing a lift, a glass lift inside the building, re repointing all the headgear concrete, doing a lot of work on the windows and painting and decorating. And on the basis of that work being done for free, we voluntarily opened the winding engine house every Saturday from 10 till 12, and also on bank holidays and on special occasions. And we will do specialist tours for groups of people who have an interest. So between you, um, you you've helped make Bestwood Park a, a better place. I mean, it's always been a lovely place to go, hasn't it? Uh, but uh, now there are, there's more involvement in, in keeping that attraction and uh, boosting tourism to a certain extent. Yes, we've made it into, into a specific destination to go. We can say to families, if you come along on a Saturday morning, you can go and have a free tour of the Winding Engine House. Um, there are often specific activities for children to do. Um, dog walkers like it because we allow dogs in the cafe. It's a nice, easy to clean floor. So uh, yes, we, we do that. People like it. You find that people <coughs> from the village come along uh, just to make contact with each other. It's become a little bit of a, a of a hub. Yes, a, me a meeting place as well. Yeah, and even though our prices are so cheap, we um, 
we still uh, generate funds that we can put back into the park. So we've been able to pay for the print run of this timeline booklet, yes. for example. OK, mm. we'll, we'll talk more about that in a moment. So yeah. stay with us because uh, I want to learn more about this myself. It's uh, charting the heritage of uh, Bestwood Park and, and Bestwood Village itself. And you'll find out more after Dusty Springfield at BBC Radio Nottingham. And uh, Bob Gow. And uh, my guests, uh, Margaret Vince as well, they're, they're both both uh, fans of, of Dusty Springfield. You, you can not be a fan of uh, Dusty Springfield. You, you know, she's such a huge artist, isn't she? And made such wonderful music. Uh, now, this, this, this booklet that, that you've got involved in, uh, called uh, Bestwood Timeline, uh, which charts uh, the history and heritage of, of Bestwood itself, how did this come about? Well, um, after the... Um Heritage Lottery Grant was provided for um, the Winding Engine House and also for a refurbishment of the Dynamo House. Um, the County Council decided to put some uh, history panels together, illustrative panels for the walls, um, which are beautiful. The, the artwork is lovely. The trouble is, people visiting the Dynamo House found it difficult to read what was right at the top. And also you couldn't... Uh, from that distance you couldn't uh, appreciate the detail of the illustrations lots of people said have you got a leaflet that we can take away and uh, so when we'd raised enough money we decided yes we'd get to work on it got the permission of the county council to use the artwork and we worked together with um, some local printers who have a connection with friends of Bestwood Country Park and managed to get this design put together very quickly proofread it and got it printed and uh, it is selling like our proverbial hot cakes. Oh, what are you hoping people get from, from seeing it and, and, and looking at the history? I think it's interesting that it actually mirrors the history of this country. It starts off with the royal lineage in Bestwood Country Park as part of Sherwood Forest with Nell Gwynne, King Charles II and others. And then it moves straight into the Industrial Revolution where the colliery arrived at the pit, uh, the colliery arrived into the park and that then went like through the Industrial Revolution into modern day uh, economy with a, a huge coal field and it provided a huge number of jobs for people in this country. A lot of wealth was generated by it. And then of course it's had its demise as well. So we, we've seen the whole thing through this timeline. It starts as, as early as 6,000 BC and uh, comes up to the present day presumably. Uh, is, is there a plan to keep this updated over time? We would hope that uh, we will ongoing keep the park running with the cafe and the winding engine house. Clearly the, there is a need for a new generation of volunteers when we disappear, but I'm sure that will happen. And I would hope that they would update this timeline as things progress. So it's, it's sort of a, a mirror of what you can find actually there in the park as well. There, there, there is sort of a, a almost an exhibition of, of this, this work there as well. Yes, sir, there is. And um, uh, it's interesting that, you know, Bob mentioned the, the royal connections. Um, just recently, um, one of the descendants of um, Charles and Nell Gwynne has um, come back to, to look at his roots, if you like, and um, has in fact been, this is Charles Beauclair, heir to the... Uh, Duke of St Albans. He's now been appointed artist in residence at the um, at the hotel at the uh, southern end of the park. And um, in this uh, booklet at the end, uh, Bob's written an afterword, and so has he. So it's um, they're like bookending uh, the history in different ways. And, and where is the booklet available from, apart from, from the park itself? Can you get it elsewhere? Uh, you can get it at Bestwood Lodge Hotel. They have stocks of it. Um, we have it always for sale in the Dynamo House when we've got the cafe open there or when the volunteer engineers are there to open up the Winding Engine House. Um, there will be some stocks available with the uh, ranger who's based in the park at the classroom. Um, and uh, we are hoping that uh, a local shop will also stock it. Keep us posted, won't you? Lovely to meet you, Bob and uh, Margaret. Just two of the people behind the Bestwood timeline, which is uh, available.